What's up guys, how you doing? JC, Ron Strong. And uh, I'm a little late on this on this video. I wasn't gonna do a video about it. If you guys have watched my stuff in the past, I really don't, don't do videos on what, like, what's trending and stuff like that. I usually just kind of stick to my protocol and what I like to, to share with, but. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federale got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. This one hit hit home a lot with me because, you know, um, as you know, Six Nine was uh, released, uh, and he came out with a song right after he came home. And you know, he's in the song. He's addressing pretty much the backlash he got from you know co cooperating with the cops. You know, in other in other words, being an informant. Um, the reason why it hit me hard is because, you know, I don't, I, I grew up in a different era, man. I, I grew up with Tupac, I grew up with, you know, uh, C-Murder, Snoop Dogg, N.W.A., DMX. I mean, DMX is my daughter's godfather. You already know what time it is with him. Gucci, you know, even Little Kim did time. Little Wayne, Fat Joe. You know, I grew up in a different era where, you know, um, telling was not okay especially if you're involved with that that street life and that that kind of you know uh, life that you you want to be in and i just don't want you know kids teenagers whatever you want to call it whoever's you know listening and and watching and, and listening to music and stuff like that to think that it's okay because it's not and that's the thing is that if you cooperate and you tell on somebody or you whatever man snitching whatever it is man you you're gonna have a very hard time in prison you're gonna be treated really really bad and your 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 stay there is gonna be really bad you're gonna have to PC up well that's gonna that's gonna mean that you're gonna spend a lot of time by yourself in a segregation and until they send you to a special yard because now I mean now it's now it's a lot easier you know they they have special yards now where they'll send you where all the uh, sex offenders are and PCs and and um, uh, you know people that cooperate are, are at but until you get there it's gonna be a really really hard time and you know I was watching the video and you know they even have a a scene where uh, it's like a cartoon of a, of a rat and you know he's uh, stating the fact that uh, you big and sad you know but I came home with a big with a big sack like it, it's crazy because he's like almost making fun of it laughing like uh, like so what that I you know but the thing is like if you look back um, you know, representing bloods and, and hardcore and all this stuff is that's what I mean is that like that life ain't what it's cut out to be because once they pick everybody up and they start slapping people with 10, 20, 30, 40 years, trust me, a lot of people break a lot. And 
I always tell people, man, you know, if I could go back and change my whole life around, you know, um, I, I wouldn't be involved in that life. I would actually have went to school. I would have, I would have done something with myself because I was actually a pretty smart kid. I was actually pretty good in sports, and I, I played everything from soccer to football, basketball. I, I went to Taekwondo. I did boxing school. And, you know, I could have, my life could have went another, another route. I wanted to go into the military really, really bad when I was 16. And, you know, I ended up catching my first federal case and it, it, you know, it stopped me from doing that. But that's the thing is that I just, my whole message and my videos and everything is actually to turn people away from that life. I, I don't, I don't care what he did or, or, or whatever. He's famous. He could get away with that. But somebody that's an average Joe normal person, you, you're going to have a very, very bad time in prison because they are going to, as soon as you get there, they're going to check, they're going to ask for your paperwork. As soon as you get there, and if you don't produce your paperwork, you have 90 days to produce your, your paperwork. And guess what? And if you don't, you have to walk yourself to the hole. And then when you do produce your paperwork and they see that you're actually an informant, they're going to stab you up. They're going to beat you up. It's going to be a very, very bad situation for you. And I don't want none of these, like, kids or, or teenagers, however you want to call it, like, thinking that it's okay because cause it's not. It's not. And, and, and in that life, it's very, very, like... You, you shouldn't do it. It's just very, very, it's, it's, it's not condoned. It's not, I know that you guys see it a lot now and it's always been there. Uh, people have always told snitch, whatever you want to call it. They've always done it. It's been there since, you know, back in the day with the mafia and, and all that stuff. There's always been that, but whether you like it or not, there's always been a street code on the streets. Also, when you're involved in that lifestyle, when you're, involved in in that like kind of life it's there's still a code there's still a street code just like how uh dudes that you know end up um molesting kids They're, they have a really bad time in prison just even though we're criminals and we've broken the law and we've done stuff there's still a code that you follow and you just it is what it is it's pretty black and white man you just it's, there's a no-no on certain things and I think that nowadays it's like it's getting worse and worse where people are, are it's almost like in style to like tell and set motherfuckers up and, and shit like that. But it's, it's crazy because like times are changing. And just like I said, you know, like in the era that I grew up with, the rappers that I grew up with and, and, and music was different and everything, like everything's changing and it's changing a lot because of all this technology now you know social media instagram facebook youtube all this stuff i never i would have never in a million years would actually see myself doing videos and and doing what i'm doing now and you know sometimes i still have a hard time but now i think about it and it's like you know i get to share the message with someone so they don't go down that path 17 years just think about it if i would have focused 17 years of my life on something else i would have a, i would have had a, two phds i would have had two degrees and whatever whatever it is i would have studied and i did not because i did not surround myself with the right people i surrounded myself with bad people that you know what i was trying to fit in prove myself everything i would always raise my hand to take the bid you know uh some of my gun cases weren't even my gun cases i took them for my bigger ups so they wouldn't go to prison you know what i mean so that's the thing is that i don't i don't want nobody getting put in that situation where if and trust me, if you want to be a gangster, you want to hang out, you want to, you want to, you want to gangbang, be a crib, a blood, a land king, you want, to, you want to do whatever it is that you want to do. Just be ready to do some time. Be ready to do some time. Uh, just have it in your head that a, a, on a good day you'll get five years, on a really bad day you'll get twenty. Just, just put it like that. 
and just keep it in your mind that that's what you're going to get and that's what's going to happen. There is no ifs and or buts. Yes, there, the luck, there is some lucky ones that haven't gotten time and made it out and never got caught. But eventually, they do get caught and there's very, very few that have made it out. I have a very close friend, never got arrested, never got caught, nothing. He's 51 years old, just got picked up on a big federal case. Never got in trouble. Well, they've been investigating him for 10 years. And that's what happens, man. You just, you just have to realize that if you hang around with people like that, eventually all that stuff is going to happen to you too. There is, there is no being tough and all this and, and then expect to like go to prison and like not, not do time. And prison is a very hard life. Let me tell you, there are some animals in there that belong in there that you do not want to be around because if they're having a bad day, guess what? They're going to take it out on you because there's no one else to take it out on. And it's not a good place, man. My main message is if you're involved with that kind of life or that whatever, I know that it's hard to get out, but start making steps to get away from it little by little because if you stay in that life, you're eventually going to end up dead or someone's going to tell on you or you're going to have to tell on somebody. And it's, it's just it's, it's a domino effect. It never gets any better. It never does. And it never changes. It's been like that since day one. I'm 43 today. And, and to, till today, since I was 16, I've seen my friends come in and out of prison. Same thing where one tells on the other, the other one tells on this one. This one's murdered, this one gets caught. And it's just, it's a domino effect. It always happens, it's never gonna change. So that's my message to you guys, man. You know, the only reason why this person in particular made it in, made it out, and is still okay, is because he was somebody famous before he went in and all that stuff it this wouldn't happen to a normal person so check yourself get out of that life my name is jc i am wrong strong and this is my positive message of the day <laughs> hug somebody stay in your lane don't judge nobody live savage and don't forget to live your life to the fullest every day all right catch you in the rebound